here, Scott, early on. Stuckey is going to penetrate down the right side of the lane and hit the bank shot. Brianna Stuckey gets the game's first two for 10 from the field to start the game. Right State driving down the left side. This is James, and she will score. And she's in the starting lineup. Denham's going to drive here all the way to the rack, and she'll get two. The Raiders take a 7-6 lead as Courtney Boyd really scuffling here, shooting the basketball. And Murray State will make them pay at the other end. Had for Mingo. Mingo starts right. Now does fling it to the corner. Three for Boyd. Yes, Courtney Boyd. For the Raiders. Williams goes baseline and hangs in the air long enough to get a clean look. Two points for J.J. Williams. For two. Jackson at the high post. Bounce pass, backdoor cut, and a lay-in. That was a great look to Kiana Kirby. Who Two very good offensive possessions for the Racers. Here's a three ball that's good. There's the answer from Sierra Patterson. There's a little uh, drop step move and a shot that's no good from James, but the follow is good. This will be right. A little handoff to the charging. Jashe Lee. That's a known fact. Not going to be on the team for the rest of the year. How about the big answer there from Sierra Patterson? They need somebody to step up and leaders. With the lead of 14, long three is good here by Kiona Kirby. So she is neat. Into the front court. This is Liesia Wright going to the rack for two. So Wright State defeats Murray State 75 to 68. The Raiders are in fact 3-0 despite losing the Horizon League's best player just minutes into this season.